But I mean, that's up to you. I just point you up on free game. Da, 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 da. Hey you guys, my name is Kishira Sharima and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So six years ago, I was experiencing a lot of hair breakage, which is the main reason why I didn't retain any length. But I've learned a few things along the way while being on my natural hair journey and I want to share one of those things with you today. So sit back and relax because we're diving into a topic that's all about nurturing our lovely tresses. I'll be sharing my secret to achieving moisture retention, preventing hair breakage, and promoting overall hair health. So get ready to discover the magic of doing two strand twists and also my favorite ayurvedic diy hair refresh if you've been here from the beginning on my channel or just watching me on social media you already know that fenugreek seeds are my absolute favorite for anything hair care or hair maintenance so if you didn't know fenugreek has rich anti-inflammatory properties that reduce inflammation and pain in your hair root it also contains natural antioxidants that help in fighting off the oxidative stress caused by free radicals in your hair follicle cells. And then the next ingredient we're using is dry rose petals. The pH level in rose water is a 5.5 on a scale of 14, which is on the low side. This allows it to nourish the scalp and reduce oiliness. So if you have an oily scalp, sis, this is for you. And if you have frizzy or dry hair, rose water can moisturize the scalp and minimize the effects of heat and pollution. So why not put this concoction in your hair, right? So for my hair's length and density, and also because I want to store this water well for the coming days, I use a half a cup of fenugreek seeds and one third cup of dry rose petals. You're going to combine all those ingredients together and use two cups of water if you want to make the same amount that I make in and um, you let that sit overnight. Once you let a concoction sit overnight, you'll see that your fenugreek seeds will double in size. So the next day, just strain the mixture and pour it into your spray bottle and your hair refresher elixir is ready to be used. And this is really liquid gold. And I know you're probably thinking, okay, Kishira, now I know how to make it. How long can I store it? So ideally, homemade DIY products should be used within a reasonable time frame to ensure the effectiveness and the freshness. In the case of this DIY refresher, you want to use it within one to two weeks. But if you notice any changes in the smell, the color, or the consistency, just discard it and make a new batch. And I tell Anaya, just look at his fenugreek and rose water hair refresher. This is really liquid gold. Now let's get into items you'll need to style your hair. So what you're gonna need to do your two strand twist is not this a detangling brush something like a rat tail comb to part your hair you're gonna also need some clips to clip away your hair and some shears because if i have any straggly ends i want to make sure i cut those off then, so the two products i'm gonna to use today is the Mish curl defining mousse and then the curl piece defining curl and coil cream so that's what these two look like so this is what i'm gonna be using i'm gonna leave the links them down in the description box if you guys want to check the products out so let me begin <laughs> when my hair is dry like this i actually like to go ahead and moisturize and hydrate my whole head before i even start to twist my hair um because i just don't like to moisturize one section and then twist that and then loose out the other section i have to moisturize and hydrate that like i would rather just do my whole head so while i twist in my hair is already done prep so i could just add some mousse and go it's just i don't know easier for me okay so this section having the spray the refresher so now we're going to go in with some some of the curl cream this is for kids though it would do my hair so good it's so soft and it'll just glide on my hair so now this hair is fully detangled and prep so let's just continue on now now we go into part in my hair do i want a side part or a middle what do you think what do you think what do you think let me think side i mean middle to eat you know middle to eat but let me do the side Just 
like is looking like. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the amount of clips it'll take me to do my hair is insane. It smells so good. Adding the mousse. Mm, feel good. Make sure around my ends. Tangle one more time and now let's twist. And when I twist it, I like to twist about like five times and then detangle so that I can make sure the twist is coming out as neat as possible. That's one twist. Okay, guys, so my twists are finished. I love them. I don't know when last I had twists, probably a couple months ago. But I know at the beginning of the video, I show you guys a pair of shares. And that's because when I finish my twists, I just like to go around and look at the ends that don't curl or just look a little out of place. So, for example, like this one, as you can see, this is not curling. Clip that off. You see? That look way better. Alright, you guys. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make the rose and fenugreek DIY. And I hope you guys try it out because this is really, really good for your hair. Like if you already done point plain water in your hair, you might as well infuse your waters and do like a nice, you know, hair tea or hair mist or hair refresher that having like Ayurvedic nutrients because that's just extra nutrients that you point in your hair. You know what I mean? Rather than you just point plain old water. But I mean, that's up to you. I just point you up on free game, you know? You could listen to me or you don't. But I highly recommend you listen to me. <laughs> this is what my twists are looking like. I want to start wearing my hair back in twists like way more often because I've been getting a lot of braids and I've been having to like you know stretch my hair to wear braids and while i love 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 the braids and i just love how my braid on the do it so neat um that i could see that i'm blowing out it's actually like stretching my curls so as you could see like right here is not curling like it used to so i do have heat damage and hmm, that's on me i gonna take the blame that's on me i was just overdoing it with the blow drying but yeah i want to get back to doing i just glad that my twist them still coming out nice and juicy so i'm gonna be doing a lot of treatments to just strengthen my hair i know i'm gonna kind of revert the hair damage there's no way well in my experience let me just speak for me i have never been able to revert heat damage um and i for sure ain't going to cut off the whole thing i can just wait till it grow out and just deal with it then but i did purchase from sunny isle and it's the jamaican black castor oil intensive repair mask for damage so i'm going to be using this um and just see what i do for my hair just to add the extra strength to my hair strands and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video please save share like and comment and don't forget to subscribe please and thank you and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss whenever i post and that's it. I'll see you in the next video or maybe my next video might be a vlog. I don't know yet, but anyways, later.